we were making levees to prevent a town of flooding. We had to think about if it would fall over if we would think if it would be like a real life design if people would use it and if our people would actually be able to like survive. So the constraints were that they had a certain amount of time, they had a specific budget of ten dollars and the items that they could purchase were duct tape, sponges, pieces of cardboard, pieces of plastic wrap or um, baggies, um, sand and rocks. The rocks, the rocks like they are an obstacle for the water to get over so the water can get trapped a little bit so the people have time to evacuate. And we had a little trap room thing so that the water can get stuck in there and it won't go to the town. One group bought 20 popsicle sticks and they uh, duct taped it together and made kind of a fence barrier wall and then they wrapped it in saran wrap and then they sealed the sides of the saran wrap and the bottom of it to the bottom of the tub that they were doing it in and um, they, their team was very successful. Another team that was very successful, they built a raft for their houses to float upon, and so when, when the floodwaters came in, their levee didn't work so well, but their, the raft floated, and that was a pretty exciting thing. They were, they were very pumped to see it floating. They designed, they all came up with their own independent designs. They then brainstormed together. They had to, you know, kind of kind of turn on the dime sometimes, and that's what engineers have to do when things don't work out. So it teaches them flexibility and teamwork and um, creative thinking and ways to solve real world problems. Congratulations. 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 And good work today.